Hello explorers, I hope you are well. Welcome back to episode 2 of my travel diary. Let's get on with the week. Every time I travel to a new destination, I have to get used to the local currency. Now this is a 100 Kuna note, which is about 10, 12 pounds, about 15 US dollars. We're in an area called Bundek, which is just on the outskirts of the city centre, about 15 minute journey on a tram. The lakes were badly maintained until 2005, when the area was redeveloped and it's become a popular place for events and tourists. This is obviously the staging area where the events happen and thankfully that wind has died down a little bit. <sighs> I can't believe how shallow the lake is but you can swim in it at your own risk of course. The mountains that surround Zagreb look absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping there's a tour that goes up there. Since I have a new camera and it was quite expensive, I bought myself a camera bag. Well explorers, I was going to take you to the zoo, but apparently it's only partially open due to redevelopments, which seems crazy at the peak time of the year. I got free entrance into the zoo, but it was only a very small part of it, but it was still good, still fun to look around. A bit disappointing that it wasn't all open, but these things happen, there's nothing you can do about it. Incredible, I'm not even in the zoo right now, I'm in the woodlands opposite the zoo. And we've got, I'm not sure what bird it is. It looks a little bit like a stork, but the legs aren't as long. It's just stood in this tree. On Wednesdays, I just chill out and watch my favourite shows on Netflix, or I go to a local cafe and do some writing for my website, I'll leave a link above. And sometimes I go to a park and take a book and read. I just do things that relax me on Wednesdays, and that's what I'm going to do today. I have to start off with my accommodation and say that it's absolutely perfect, it's so comfortable. And I love the fact that it's a 10-15 minute walk to Lake Duran, which is a beautiful setting. And then I'm about a 10 minute walk to the nearest tram station, which takes me into the city centre. I love it. The language barrier is something that you have to overcome when you're traveling. And you have to make an effort to speak the local language, even if it's just a word or two. 
I've not really had a problem in the city centre, most people speak English, and very good English as well. Outside of the city centre, I've got by by learning the odd word, and also analog movements helps quite a bit as well, and pointing and that kind of thing. And also I've got an app on my phone which has been really useful, because I've typed the word in English, and it's actually spoke the word in Croatian. A number of people have been asking me about the impact of Brexit on my travels. Now, if you don't know, the UK has voted to leave the European Union, and that's going to happen within the next two years or so. For me though, I am really lucky, because I get paid in US dollars into my UK bank account. So, at the moment, because the British pound is so low, every month I'm receiving, on average, it changes month by month, but on average, around £300 extra a month. The downside is that when I withdraw money or use my card to buy products or food, I don't get as good of a rate as I got prior to Brexit. So I'm losing a little bit of money there. I think it's about 10% at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next two years because at the moment I have the freedom of travelling and living and working in any European Union country without any issues with visas or anything like that. I really don't think it'll change but I guess we'll see and we'll have to deal with any issues that come out of that. I've decided to watch The Matrix, I've not seen this film for years. Explorers. Unfortunately, today I'm having to work extra hours, so no exploring. The company that I'm working for, we've just got so many bugs and issues with the software that we're rolling out later this month. There's a lot of interesting graffiti in Zagreb. I love the building in the background with the four turquoise coloured figurines. I'm not too sure what they are really does stand out there. Well, today's exploring hasn't gone as planned. I got a bus up to what I thought was the top of the mountain here in Zagreb. I'll leave the name below, I can't pronounce it. And yeah, it literally just dumped me off at the top of a hill. And there was about another five or six K to walk to the top. So I decided not to bother walking to the top, especially when I've not got the best footwear on just been a badly organized trip today so far which is unlike me but it just goes to show you you've got to put that planning in this is the old cable car system which isn't working at the moment and hasn't been for a number of years well explorers i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up because those thumbs up tell me that you're enjoying this series of videos if i don't get a thumbs up I'll stop doing them. It's as simple as that really. And yeah, it's nothing to do with ego or numbers. It just gives me the measurement there that you are enjoying the videos. That's so important to me, it really is. And yeah, I've had a good week. We've had a few ups and downs as you always do when you're traveling around the world. But you know, these things come to test you. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're new to this channel and you've stumbled across this video, please click on that subscribe button because I'm currently traveling around the world and sharing my experiences with you all. Until next time, explorers, 
Take care yourselves.